Representative Phyllis Gutierrez Kinney with the 46th District. How are you today? Very well, thank you. So this is cutoff day. Yes, so the day. Have to get out and into the Senate. Recently, one of your very important bills passed, helping the homeless. Yes, House Bill 2048 was a bill that we had last year and didn't quite get it through. This year looks much more hopeful, but homelessness is a severe tragedy in our state. We are a state with the highest homeless rate. We have the highest youth homeless rate in the nation. And what we need to do is to provide the services to provide them the opportunity to have a better life and to move on and be really economically stable. On any given night, 23,000 people are homeless, 91,000 yearly. The Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction reports that 22,000 students are homeless. And this is a big increase over the last 10 years, a 50% increase. So these are 22,000 kids that don't have a safe place to sleep, and yet they have to go to school every day, and we're trying to teach them. Yes, they're trying to learn, and many of them come from very, of course, very low income, it's where food is also an issue with them, clothing, transportation, so it's not just not even having a roof over their head. What we're asking for this bill to do is extend the timeline to allow mm -hmm. the fee on a real estate transaction to be executed and then the money from that goes to help the homeless. And a good share of it goes to the counties and some stays in the state to, be, to address the homeless and the housing uh, situation. So how much are we talking? Well, if the bill doesn't pass, we're talking about $53 million, which is not money that we can get from the general fund. If this goes away, there will be no funding to help and aid the homeless. I believe yesterday we also passed a number of DUI bills. As you know, we do have a very high uh, fatality with DUI drivers that has to be corrected. And it's reported that there were 170 DUI fatalities in 2009, which has cost the Washington State residents a whopping $935 million. Wow. And that's a lot. House Bill 2176, which prevents drug drivers who kill or harm from using the state statute of limitations to duck court order repayment to victims to stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. There'll be court orders on House Bill 2405 to order drunk drivers who kill a parent to pay child support right. for those victims, minor children, mm -hmm. which is very important. For some, there's no other recourse for the children, of course, and the families. But all of these bills really play a real factor and deterrent from drunk drivers. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say that there's the cure-all, because we, need, we also need rehabilitation programs, we need prevention programs. Uh, I think we are a very crisis-oriented society and we need to do some prevention that when somebody gets the first offense that we make sure that they get the treatment, make sure that they understand that the next time they're not gonna get off as easy. All right, and the last thing I wanna ask you about is human services. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, tomorrow's the forecast. We're gonna see what's coming. We've had 200 and some million dollars in the drop in the forecast of use of, for human services, which will help. But we're waiting to see what the forecast uh, is going to, how it's gonna play out. But either way, we know that there's gonna to have to be cuts. Uh, we have a, over a $1.6 billion deficit, and we don't know just exactly where we're gonna cut, but we know there has to be cuts, even with some of the revenue that will be coming in. Um, it is, um, um, at this point in time, we're not definite on where the cuts will be, um, but there's gonna be a great many people hurt by this. And the other issue is, even if we had a revenue package, it will not help with the budget process right now because we have to have the budget by the end of session, a balanced budget by the end of this legislative session, which is not a full legislative uh, session for the budget, but a supplemental. And anything that, for example, that would go to the ballot will not be till after session. Mm -hmm. So that means there's a time gap in there. So 
there will still have to be cuts. Well, we appreciate your time, and we wish you the best of luck, as always, and uh, we thank you for your service. Thank you very much, and I hope everybody has a great day.